Okay, so we're looking at designing our 3D glasses. I'm just going to focus on the first stage, the basics really of doing the 3D glasses. Now, I've got a page here. It's an A3 page. The glasses should take up roughly the full width of the page, which is 42 centimeters. Slightly narrower maybe, but not flying over the edges, right? Okay, first thing is, can you see the dots on the page? If you can, leave them as they are. If you can't, you can change the dots with the grid button and you can change the dots into lines, but change the color as well. Make it something nice and light, like this blue color, and you should see this quite clearly. Now, if you're gonna use the grid, you have to use a grid lock. Grid lock now locks you into drawing only on the dots, okay? So your first thing to do is to draw a line down the center of the page. Make sure it's vertical. It's got to be vertical and if you're on the grid lock it should be perfectly vertical uh, now it doesn't matter quite where that line is just roughly down the middle of the page that line is our axis of symmetry or our mirror line okay now next job with the glasses you're going to draw a line now we round we did the averages of our anthropometric data we gathered and we rounded it and we came to a number of about six centimeters maybe 65 but six will do right so half of six is three so you're going to measure three centimeters from the mirror line, that's where your nose is, to one of your eyes, that's the end of that line. Okay, now I'm going to start designing some glasses. So I'm going to draw a circle, that's my eye hole that I'm going to look through. I'm going to draw another circle, that's my uh, rim of the glasses. And I'm going to put a little edge here that's going to go over my nose. And I'm going to draw a the same at the top by there, okay? Now, next thing I want to do, I want to delete some stuff. So I'm going to use my trim button, which is the second one along by here. Look, delete part of a line between two intersections. Click, 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 and get rid of all the bits that you don't need on your glasses. There we go, right? That's everything I didn't need. Okay, that's my eyepiece. That's where my nose is going to go. Next job I need is to draw the bit that goes to my ear. So we measured that again, didn't we? It was 110 millimeters. So that is 11 squares, okay? So let's say I'm gonna fold it from there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way out to 11 squares. Now, if you can't be bothered counting the squares, double click on the line, type in the length, 110 millimeters, 11 centimeters. And this will give you a line, the right length without having to count the squares. Okay, let's stick with something straightforward, okay? So if I know that's where that's gonna to go to, I'm gonna have a pretty straightforward design here with a not very comfortable design for my earpieces. I'm just making sure that all the lines overlap so that I can delete them like this. I'm gonna go into this one. I'm gonna trim, trim and trim. And that's my arm for the glasses. Now I'm gonna draw a fold line. So my fold line is gonna go by here. Because it's a fold line, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the style of the line by here. I'm gonna change it to a line which is dotted or we call perforated, right? Click okay, gives me a dotted line. Okay, all good so far. Next stage, lasso everything, not the mirror line. We don't really wanna mirror the mirror line. Go to the button that's called transform and find the mirror button. When you're in mirror, click on repeat, click okay, and then show it the mirror line one. You need two points on the mirror line, which will give you the other half of your glasses. So, you know, I said they need to be roughly the width of the page. These should be okay, maybe a little bit on the small side. Now I need to mirror the glasses again because we need double thickness so that we can sandwich the lenses in the middle. How do we do that? Well, I can't do a mirror line look on the grid because it won't cut through the glasses. So I need to do something here. I need to change the size of the grid, I reckon. So I can change the size of the grid down to two by two. And if you watch when I click OK, there will be loads more lines on the page. I'm gonna zoom in like this, but you can see now the grid. I'm gonna draw a line that goes two millimeters down from the top of the glasses. Now change that line into another perforated line. Go back to line and click on perforated, click OK. Delete everything above Oops, it is control Z. Delete everything above the mirror line like that. In fact, you can get take away all those other bits as well. Now we are able to mirror the glasses again, lasso everything. Go back to mirror, repeat, and then you're going to be looking at the grid, right? So check on the grid that you're going to hit the lines and do your mirror 
for your vertical lines. Right, so there we are. We've got pretty much what we're after, really, which is a double thickness pair of glasses, which is going to fit on our heads, six centimetres from the eye to the eye, 11 centimetres to where they hook over your ears, fold lines that are dotted, something comfy to go over your nose. Yeah, they should work, shouldn't they? So only thing that's left that needs to be done is we need to take away the mirror lines and our construction lines that we didn't need. So with that done, all you need to do is save it, or I guess you can export it straight away onto the memory stick or another way to send it to the laser cutter, maybe in your network area. And what you're going to do is you're going to lasso it. It's quite an important thing to do. Right click off it, click on the explode button, fully into simple object, exploding line styles, continue. And the reason for that is because the laser cutter doesn't want to use, it doesn't want to recognize dotted lines as dotted lines unless you explode them and you make it so that each individual dash is a separate line. Okay, make sure you save your drawing and we'll see how it goes with that as a, as a starting design. Something simple. We're going to improve it. We're going to add some extra effects. We're going to look at different shapes. We're going to look at different ways you can edit lines and things like that as we go along. But that's a good starting off point. Well done.